Kamaru Usman's first welterweight title defense is expected to be versus Colby Covington, but nothing has been made official yet. Javier Dos Anjos will take on Leon Edwards on July 20th in the main event of USC Fight Night San Antonio, Texas. Beating Dos Anjos would elevate Edwards into the top 10 and possibly the top 5. Tyron Woodley still dealing with hand injuries and pulled out of his June 29th fight with Robbie Lawler. So the main event of that card has been changed to Ngannou vs Dos Santos. Jorge Masvidal and Ben Askren will fight at UFC 239 on July 6. The winner could be next in line for the belt after Covington. Masvidal's last fight was a KO victory over Darren Till in March. Steven Thompson wanted to fight in his home state of South Carolina this month, but he was KO'd by Anthony Pettis in March. Pettis is scheduled to take on Nate Diaz in a welterweight contest at UFC 241 on August 17th. Nate's last three fights have been at 170 pounds. Santiago Ponzinibbio underwent surgery for a bacterial infection earlier this month. He knocked out Neil Magny in November. Magny was supposed to take on Vicente Luque last month, but he failed the USADA test. Derek Krantz replaced him and got TKO'd by Luque. Damian Maya and Anthony Rocco Martin are competing on June 29th in Minneapolis. Some of the other upcoming matchups at Welterweight include Brian Barberina vs. Randy Brown June 22nd in Greenville, Diego Sanchez vs. Michael Chiesa July 6th in Las Vegas, Eric Koch vs. Kyle Stewart July 27th in Edmonton. Koch has now fought in the USC at 145, 155, and 170. Claudio Silva vs. Ramazan Amiyev August 3rd in Russia, Bilal Mohamed vs. Takashi Sato September 7th in Abu Dhabi, and also on that card is Nordin Taleb vs. Muslim. Salakov.